Hello, this video will target helping new users get set up with the basics of Vixen 3. Uh, we're using uh, the release version 3.5U4 as of this date. Um, so this is a brand uh, started up here after you've installed it. And we've got an empty profile here to start with. My goal here in this demonstration is to take this picture of this house, which we're going to use as our model, and I'm going to take and put a string of lights across this porch group here uh, to stimulate uh, some uh, roof line there, and we're going to get those set up and be able to do some effects on them. So let's get started right away here with the display setup. We're going to go in here. We've got we're going to put 50 lights across there. So we just use a generic numbered group here. Uh, none of the other uh, pre setups there actually make sense. So we'll go in here and we're going to call this porch roof for the group name, and then we're going to call the individual items porch roof and PX is an abbreviation for pixel that I use. And we're going to use 50 of them. And we're going to say OK. So this now creates me a, an element here for my porch roof. It has 50 items underneath of it here. Each one of these represents the, the 50 pixel lights that I'm going to have on there. And these could be you know, pixel bulbs or dumb nodes or regular nodes, whatever you want to use here. But uh, there's 50 of them there. And they're they're numbered, you know, pixel one, two, three, and four. So this is a basic naming scheme. You can pick whatever you want, you know, for these kind of names. These are something that's similar to what I normally use. So that sets up the the 50 lights there to start with. The next thing we're going to go down here is is establish what kind of lights they are. We're going to go into this wizard down here. We're going to select the color handling option here, and then there's three options here. In this particular case. These are full RGB lights. They mix to make any color, and their color order is RGB to start with. So nothing. Ex these here for like other kinds of lights uh, that are that are you know typical of older string lights. You know that are, may only have one or type, one color or two or three colors. You can set those up. Well, that's for a different uh, demonstration. We're focusing on pixels pixels today. So I hit OK. This tells me it's set up. Uh, 50 of the lights there, so they're all configured and ready to go. So now I have 50 elements in here. Um, I have 150 total patch points. So as, as you know, RGB lights, each one of them, the red, green, and the blue, has ends up with three distinct uh, patch points for each one. So 50 times 3 is 150. So we have all 50 of our lights set up here with those patch points. The next thing uh, I'm going to do is just add a simple controller here. We don't have to do this right out of the gate, but uh, we can go ahead and do that you know, in this particular situation. Uh, I'm going to add a streaming ACN, so similar like your EA682, a lot of your Falcon controllers, things of those nature here. I'm just going to use the default name here. And for this particular use case, I'm going to tell it that it has 150 outputs. It may have more. We're just concerned with the 150 that we need for right now. And that's about as far as I'm going to go with that. You can see that there's 50 outputs there. We can set up the universe stuff in here. Uh, you know, This will match whatever your universe setup is on your controller. We're not going to go very deep into that. We're just going to use the default here. And universe 1, and we're going to leave this 150 for the size, and we're going to use multicast for simplicity. And then the next step here is going to be is try to quickly patch these up so that the controller will actually work. So I have them selected over here. I have the full boat selected over here. This is the simplest option. I have uh, 150 elements to patch on this side, 150 outputs over here. I can hit patch. Everything is all configured here. If I actually want to see this in a more physical view, I can actually switch to the graphical view here, and then we'll just pick one of these here on the left, and then this here will uh, identify it to the ones on the right. And you can see here that the pixel one is broken down into the three outputs, and then it's patched to controller channel one, two, and three. That's pretty simplistic there. 
So this gets our basic display set up, uh, configured here. We didn't go into a lot of, there's a lot of other things that can, can be utilized in here, but we're just going for the simplistic form right now. That gets us set up to be able to output the lights. So I'm going to say OK. And now I'm going to go work on a, a um, whoops. I'm going to go work on a, a setup of a simple preview here. So I selected the preview setup on the main screen there. I'm going to add a whole new preview. There was only one kind of preview to add, so we're going to add this in here. And this gives me a default preview here. I can rename it here to something meaningful like the house front. I can update the name on that. And then now with it selected here, I'm going to go configure the preview. This is where I'm actually going to set up what this thing looks like so that I can simulate it in, the, in when I'm sequencing. So we've got an area here. You can see my porch roof. The elements are all here like I want to begin with. First thing I'm going to do is go add a picture of my house. And this is just from, I've got it in a default pictures folder. It doesn't have to be anywhere special. I'm going to click open there. It adds it in here, copies it into the profile automatically for me. Uh, this slider up here will allow you to set the brightness of the background image. You're probably going to want that somewhat dimmer so that it's not shining you know, brightly. You can actually see the lights. I've got it bright enough here that I can see what's going on. So this is a simple string of lights here. So I'm going to go up here and pick the, the simple string. I'm going to select my porch roof. I'm going to select this here. And I'm going to go down here and I'm going to start. And I'm just going to draw these across here like this. By selecting this up here, this automatically knows when it adds this that there's 50 lights here. So I'm going to go back into selection mode. I'm going to click on this. And you can see right here my light count is 50. So I picked that up by knowing that there was 50 elements here. These are all automatically linked. So if I click in here in the link, you can see that this is string 1, and it's linked to all 50 of my elements that I created in the display preview. This is all automatic for you in a simple setup like this. The string type is pixel by default. So at this point, we really don't need to do anything more in the preview. This is, uh, this is all that's necessary to get us going for what we're after here. I'm going to dim this down just a little bit more so it looks better. So now I'm going to close this out. I'm going to say OK here. I've got everything set up. Now all I need to do is just create a new sequence. Click on the new sequence button. Now I get an editor here with the sequencer in here. And you can see that uh, my preview is now showing back there with my, with my house. And this is the porch roof here. So the simplistic thing is, is I want to start with that. I just want to light them all up. See all those light? I've got some presets down here. You have to create these on your own. Um, but for the simplistic thing, I can come up here and double click on this. Click it red. Now I've got red. And I want to be able to see these from the half second mark to the five and a half second mark. I want to light this up when I play this sequence. So that gives me uh, that right there. So I can hit play up here. I'll slide this down just a little bit. And I'll hit play here. And you see when it gets to that mark there, the lights come on red on my string of lights. When it gets to the end, they go off. Very simple, turning them on in red. Now there's this effect preview over here. I can turn this on and when I have this highlighted here it shows that the uh, the effect is actually showing up lit on there. I can do that very simply. If I deselect these and then I take another set level effect here and I drop it in here. This is white. Now it's selected. The preview is showing that one in white. I select back here. It's showing it in red. So this gives me a quick you know, clicking on the actual effect, showing what it's actually going to do. So now I'm going to delete this, and we're going to take this a step further. And I'm going to add a simple chase here across these elements. I've got my preview on, and it may be hard to see there, but you can actually see now that I've got a chase walking across these individual lights up here. 
So I can go down here and make a, a little bit of a change here, set this to 150. This will add a little bit of a tail here. So then now I can actually see them chasing across there. Um, the actual pulse intensity, I'm going to um, invert this real quick here, and then we can actually see the tail chasing along there. So to invert that, I just hit, you know, control shift and clicked on it. That did a simple invert. So there you have it. That's basically in Vixen 3.5. Uh, U4, the very basics to get a, a simple roof line set up and get some simple effects working on that for you to use. Thank you.